I want to talk about the next one. This yeah. guy. So you you probably don't know who he is because you're not a Cowboys, Cowboys fan. I'm, but not I, into American, I I'm not into American football at all. It's not real football. <laughs> hey, it is the exactly. only football. How can you call it football when you use your you use your hands 80 percent of the time? Uh, who knows? Who cares? Hey, how, do you, how do you get the ball from one end of the field to the, to the other? Using your feet. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> using your hands. In, anywho, um, Lyle Collins is an offensive tackle for the Dallas Cowboys. Has now, he got is he got his cryptocurrency? I don't know. <laughs> but I, what, I, what he does have is some weed currency. So um, I think they took weed off of the, uh, the list for violations for the NFL. That's, so, in- that's interesting. Yeah, that so, interesting. so the, the collective bargaining agreement was, was one of those, those parts where they made it where it wasn't, they can't be suspended for that, for just weed, okay? So get this. This guy gets the notification he's got to go and take the test, and... He bribes the guy that's going to give him the test. Okay, <laughs> why not? Why, why go to? Why waste your time? Just, just get your brother or something to pee in a cup. Well, just make sure they're not doing weed first. <laughs> Here's the thing: when you do weed, you probably hang around with people that do weed. But nevertheless, um, he, he he bribed the collector, which you know is a, is a violation. They found out, got suspended for five games. Okay, once everything kind of came to light. The five games got dropped to two games, okay? He wanted to appeal the two games. <laughs> so when he went to appeal the two games and the court heard everything that took place, oh, you were doing this and you tried to bribe, they, gave, they shot it back up to five games. <laughs> so this dude's going to lose like over $2 million worth of income for this infraction if it doesn't get overturned. Which you probably won't, because you should have took your two year, two games and been been done with it. If you'd have taken the two games, he'd be playing next week. So he's five games, right? Five games total. So and that's costing him six million dollars. And yeah, and it, and the well, the injury guaranteed. Well, how it's written in the contract because NFL money's not guaranteed. It's written with these gates, and you got to do this, then you got to do this, then you got to do this. Sometimes there's a guarantees for these larger ones that they'll get an amount. So you might see a $100 million contract with $60 million guaranteed. Um, but in his case, it, it's reported that he's going to lose $2 million, And that can be from across you know, the salary. It could be from across endorsements or, or any of it. But nevertheless, for um, really just not taking your punishment, you know you were wrong. You did try to bribe the guy. Does it say how much you tried to bribe him? No, I don't think it, it listed that in the article. It wasn't five million. I wonder if it, if it was like a hundred, two hundred bucks, like some chump change. <laughs> I'd be like, if, if this dude offered me like two hundred bucks and I was a drug test collector, I'd be like, bro, you make like a million. Million, plus. exactly. You, you are not giving me a hundred dollars. I'm not letting you off that easy. It's a, I'm not. Let, it's like a like the baby did with those two little boys. Yeah. <laughs> Like, so, yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's take it one stage further. What's your opinion about having weed on the NFL's substance abuse policy? It's not. I don't care. You know my stance on drugs. No, I know, but that's what I'm yeah. thinking. So what drug was he taking? It was marijuana. It was reported that he was using marijuana. So maybe he didn't know the CBA um, had, ch- had said, hey, you can't be suspended for that. And that's why he still tried to and rob the dude. Decided... <laughs> and that's what got him in trouble. But the issue was... Did he go to school? I mean, was there any time he didn't go to school or... Go to school? Yeah. What do you mean? Just so he's... Oh, oh who knows? Because <laughs> the hooked on findings didn't work for him? I don't know. Perhaps he didn't see too much. I don't, I don't know. Um, he's missed a bunch of drugs tests. That was part of probably why he was already hot on the list. But then you, you come in and then you want to bribe somebody... It just wasn't a good look for him. He should have just taken the two the two games that they. There's something I just want to say in, with in, in self defense. We've actually moved in some NFL players that played for the Texans, mm-hmm. uh, and I got to tell you, I know what you're saying about this guy, but they're all great guys. Oh yeah, they're, 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 they're all they're, they're all good this guys. guys a piece of shit for smoking they're all, weed. They're, <laughs> you know, now whether they were smoking weed, I don't know. But, I mean, we, we've they're moved, normal people, we've man. We've moved just... in some of the Texans. <laughs> Not many of them have managed to keep their wealth after they've yeah. finished their pro careers, you know, because we have managed to keep in touch with some of them. Yeah. Still, 
you know, I have different things to do with the brokerage, but I've got to tell you, all the ones that I've personally met nice are guys. all great guys. They just get paid, paid to play all, the game, man. They really I mean, are they're, all, they're regular folks. You know, really nice guys.